Okay, video number three from the page Ukulele Micro Etudes number one. Page one. Ukulele Micro Etudes. Um, this one is the first one where you have to change chords. So on this one we're going to start on a C chord. The second bar we will move to a G chord. Then we'll move back to a C chord. And the fourth bar is another G chord. So we just have the C and the G. It's good to practice just going back and forth between these. As I said in the intro video, if you keep this finger on the B, on the A string, second fret, B, then you don't have to worry about that finger. When you change chords, you can just leave it down for both of them, and it gives you a kind of a pivot point in your hand to move between these two chords. Now, holding that down doesn't work very well in later lessons when we have to move to an F chord, but when you're moving from a C chord to the G chord, I think this is the best way to do it. Um, we're also going to change our singing note for the first time in this one. And this is going to tie together, you need to know what chord, what notes are in each of the chords. So we're in the key of C, we have a one chord, which is C chord, which is C, E, G. That means the melody note or the primary melody notes have to be a C, an E, or a G. You're not going to have a C chord with a long D held over the top of it as a melody note. That would be really hard to sing because it would clash with the chord. You want your melody notes, at least the strong, important ones, to be in the chord. And you really need a note in the chord to be in your melody for each chord that you put there, that I put on the page. And when you start writing your own melodies, this is going to be an important consideration. So, C, E, G, we're going to sing a C over it, which is Do. And then in the second bar, the vocal part is going to change to re. Now, re, re is a D in the key of C. Um, it is also a note that's in the five chord. The five chord being G, and the G chord is G, B, D, G major. So the D, chord, D is in the five chord, G, B, D. Re is always in the five chord. And actually, re and T are the two main notes for the melody uh, that will be over a five chord. So whenever you have a melody that lands on re, especially near the end of a melody, the end of a phrase, or the end of a whole tune, that re is almost always going to be supported by a five chord. And T is the same issue. Whenever you have a melody that ends on T, especially right before the ending of the phrase or of the piece, if you're landing on T, the chord that's going to be of it under it is going to be the five chord. T. T. That's not right. Re, T. And then when the chord changes from five, T, back to one, Do, that T, Do, or Re, Do, Re, Do. That combination of T to Do, five to one, or Re to Do, five to one, is very important and you want to get comfortable with with knowing what those feel like over the chords the, those melody notes feel like over the chords okay so here's number three from ukulele micro etudes page one do first note do so we can resolve the last chord. Um, now these first examples are very much exercises. So they're not high music, they're not beautiful artistic music, but they are important preparatory exercises to connect melody with harmony, which is the entire point of doing these exercises. I want you to connect what notes are in the melody with what the chord is that's supporting that melody note. Okay, see you in the next video.